welcome to the Earthworks Podcast, where our team will share the jargon of carbon from many of our turf friends from the past 30 years. Hello and welcome to the Earthworks Podcast. This week, I'm your host, Jack Higgins, and I am on site with our guest, Mr. Vinny Spano. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for having me. Yo, thanks for having me, Vin. This is this is really cool. And we're doing things a little bit different right now. Like we're out on the course, which is which is pretty fun. It's a beautiful October morning. Um, and and so tell us about Preakness Valley Golf Course. Where, where so we're Preakness Valley, we're located in Wayne, New Jersey, uh, 36 hole facility. Uh, we're about to hit our 100th year anniversary in uh, 2031. So we're gearing up for that. OK. Um, yeah, so it, it's Passaic County's only golf facility, right? Passaic County's only public golf course. Okay, got it. Yeah, so this is a county golf course. You're an employee of the county. I'm an employee of Passaic County. Awesome, man. Awesome. Tell us more about your role. What do you do here and what do you do for the county? Uh, so I am the golf facilities manager. Um, my role is overseeing the golf operations. Uh, and then I also take care of uh, 10 acres of athletic fields. So. Um, when I first got here, I was a super uh, with another guy, Doug Vogel. Okay. Uh, both of us were taking care of the property. Uh, were you on either side, or did you each have eighteen? How we, did that we, work? we did say, you know, you're blue, you're red, but we worked well together, and it doesn't really work that way. So he was kind of you're my all assistant. Out of the same shop. I was his assistant, and we just kind of worked well, really well together. So uh, we kind of just did the whole property. And w- and so when did you start here? When was that? Uh, 2017. 17. Yeah. All right, cool. So you did that for a couple years? Uh, it... Yeah, I was in the super position for about five, six years. Um, and then was promoted to the golf facility manager. Um, we were able to hire two phenomenal superintendents that are able to execute the plan that we put together. And uh, kind of seeing that show itself in the past couple of years. Absolutely. Um, so yeah. So when did you well. move it? When, when did you get into the new role? Uh, I got into the new role. I think it was January of twenty two. All right. Yeah. So you kind of so you've been here through kind of a big time in this place yeah. and in golf in general. Right. You saw this golf boom happen, yeah. and I think it happened particularly well here. Yeah. Uh, how many, so you said your 36 hole facility, how many rounds you do over here? Over 80,000, 40 per side. Um, a lot of play. Yeah. A lot of play. Uh, so yeah, that, it's packed. There, there really isn't, you know, it's those six hour County Saturday rounds. That's, that's what this is. So it's, it's packed. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Well, and you told me, I'm going to say, cause I know you wanted that, like you guys use golf now and, and the golf now people got. In yeah. Touch with you? So golf now, uh, we use for our booking. Um, and they informed the pro shop who informed me. So I'm third party. Uh, but they're saying that we are the number one booked public golf course in the Northeast. Yeah. So. And you were like, bro, I don't know if they're blowing smoke or what, but, I, but I told you no one else has told me that. Right. So. so I could lay claim to that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could lay claim on that. Yeah. Um, well, that's yeah, that's interesting. You're just you're busy. We're busy and uh, we're we're successful at what we do um, really because. <laughs> so before I worked here, I was at Bergen County. Um, totally. It was totally different. Um, now that was that was county that golf. was county golf it, it wasn't you know i don't want to say anything bad like let me no, edit no, this out. No, no. i don't want to bash them but like you're not bashing them just you you run things differently here now they have a different situation they have like five six courses yeah, but they have five six courses and i would argue that they're not putting the same revenue or, or resources to those five courses that we do to two okay yeah right? so the the board of county commissioners here uh the freeholders prior County Executive Mr. DeNova and now County Executive Mount Jordan, they have been very focused on golf, invested in golf. We ask, we pretty much receive. Uh, whether we have to write a report and explain why we need or what we're trying to do, we don't get no very often. That's the story. I mean, that, that yeah, you're speaking to that you're getting supported. We are getting a lot of support. Uh, and, and those assistants I was talking about, it's, it's kind of silly saying I have an assistant that has more experience than I have years in life. Um, so Sam Giuliano was a superintendent at Knickerbocker Country Club for like 30 years. Right, right. I called on Sam at Knickerbocker. Yeah. And now he's been here for... He's been here for three years or so. So Yeah. So what a great asset. Yeah, yeah, great asset. And then along with him, uh, we have Chuck McMonagall, who was one of his first assistants over there. So both of those guys kind of took the role of me and Doug. 
and then me and Doug kind of oversee the whole operation. So oh, that's uh, great. Yeah, I mean, we make sure they have the resources they need, or their manpower, tools, chemicals. So we get it all lined up for them, and and they go, and they and they've been doing a great job of it. So so you say that you've been very successful with the program. Um, describe to me the program. How do you get it done? How do you get things done amongst all this play? A lot of planning. Okay. Um, it really goes into probably we're looking at November of the previous year, every year, where you start looking into uh, things that work, things that didn't work, uh, some issues that presented itself, uh, and what we could do to change going in. So a lot of those deci decisions are made prior in the prior year, um, whether we you know rotate a fungicide, try a new formulation, switch to a superior product like Earthworks. Um, All right, bro. Thank you. Uh, you know, we, that's when we make those decisions. So uh, we, we try to get all the ingredients together and the plant together in the winter. We, we do a really nice job of building out what we want to do for the year. In terms, like all the way so through with the calendar have, and everything? I have calendar from first spray in April through aeration, first large scale spray where we're doing tees, fairways, the whole 60 acre thing. Um, we know exactly what day we're going to do it. Uh, we're on every week we spray greens, every two week We'll do scouting, but we're scheduled to two fungicides every two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we, we, we do 12 fungicide applications on the fairways through this growing season. Right. And then uh, the greens are getting sprayed weekly, bi-weekly fungicide. And then we do some, you know, phosphite in, in the in between weeks to kind and, of carry us. And some, so, and some liquid fertility in those sprays. Yeah, so we do liquid fertility. Um, we spoon feed every week. We put down no more than two tenths of a pound of N. It's really down, it's probably closer to two when you get all the micros and everything in there, but you know, the N is about a pound of N every week we put out on the greens. Yeah, yeah. A pound of it? A tenth. A tenth of a pound of it. Yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. okay. No, we'd be standing in grass. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, now, so so you keep like you're saying the planning is very important and that's the way and you must you must kind of make everyone aware you get out in front of this make everyone aware of the plans yes. so that like right down the line they can be prepared and fit all the 40,000 rounds yes in, so we, we are in constant communication with our pro shop um, our support staff that is doing all the work out here because I'm jealous I don't get to cut grass anymore you know um, they all have the plan we call it the Bible they all get copies of Bible, it's laminated, dated, you know, everything's going. Right down to mowing schedule. Right, everything is on there. So from what fertility, insecticide, herbicide, everything we do gets put in there. If there's something we do this year that's not on there, we'll add it to the Bible and then it'll get put into the, the Bible for next year. So it's just, a, you know, an information dump. But the, the most important thing for the Bible is besides, you know, knowing we're going to have what we need is you know, everyone that's listening to this knows like schedules don't work. Right, you know, right. So that's the thing. That's, that's the important reason of having it all scheduled, having it all written down, because when, you know, the crap hits the fan, you need to be able to adjust. And if you, you know, you're adjusting and you don't have that plan, it's really easy to forget about what you wanted to do. So it always has, it, it kind of keeps us centered. I so, think that's the best piece of advice, because I think a lot of people are listening would be like, what's the point of even making yeah, a schedule? Because I, I know work, I'm this gonna... guy's calling out sick or right. a storm or something. Yeah. But, but, and that still happens to you yes, too. Yes, every day. But you, but you can then refer back to the schedule and be like, okay, well, this is where, this is what we need to get done when we can get it done. And this is how we don't get behind. Right. And like you said, this is how something doesn't get skipped. Yes. Miss. Yes. You know, you forget your, uh, you know, you don't get your DMI out or something and you're like, oh, you know, it's time to go throw a lexicon. You're like, oh no, we, we you know, we're we're missing this window. We need to get this out. You know, the temperatures are increasing. We have to do this now. Like everything else stops. This has to do it. Mm -hmm. Or you can make the decision. Hey, you know, let's let's push this back a week because we have X, Y, and Z that we have to take care of. So, um, um, well, let's talk uh, in the schedule because and and what you've done with Earthworks. Okay. I mean, because because that what the big thing that that happened and this was probably around 2020 right. uh, thereabouts. Um, was you got the granulars in your program yes, yes. and and you kind of go wall to wall pretty much we do we do so uh I, I i found you guys on on social on on x on twitter yeah um i, oh, I don't even want right. to say the guy's name because i'm gonna i'm gonna butcher it but uh, casey cough keith cough uh, oh yeah yeah right? so uh, yeah i saw him talking about it I'm yeah like, yeah from uh from trinity forest okay I, yeah down in texas yes casey, yes he was a texas yes, superintendent yeah. So I've had the experience in the past with organic fertilizers. You know, uh, I've got great people that you know kind of directed me, and uh, so I, I knew the importance of them. I knew I knew the use for them. 
Um, but I didn't love that product that I was using in the past. So I was like, all right, whatever. What didn't you like about it? Consistency, like okay. the bags, the prill size. It didn't seem like it had the same reaction in the soil when we How about release? Down. Yeah, like like get, response. We would see we would see growth bursts. I don't okay. see that with this. Okay, interesting. So I mean I fought to get Earthworks here. Like it wasn't an easy thing. I mean it was No, I remember we was one I, year we were ready to buy it. We we're like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do it and then it fell through. And we're like, all right, right, next year and then yeah. Remember that remember yeah, I remember coming by here with like if you were able to to, to purchase like 10 bags yes, or something. Yes, yes. And I think I dropped them all. You did, you Yeah, did. yeah. I, I came into work one day, there was a couple like five, four, fives yeah, in there. It was for a side, right. a side job. We did actually, you know, we were down there before, down by the, the B oh, thing I was showing oh, you. Oh, okay. Um, what was there it? was a side job in there. It was just an approach. We were oh, really? siding, And I wanted yeah. to throw something under there. And that and was kind of, you need, you were needing to show, yes. the, the you know, like you said, like I said before, you're, oh, you do such a great job of getting out in front of everybody that needs to see it. Yes. You're a good communicator. So anyway, that, yeah, I rem now I'm just, recalling that that's how that that's how we got started that's exactly how we got started and it, and it was an easy sell from that point i mean um you know we go out at a very low rate right but we get a very big oh i like that health part. response yeah Not you a told me response but so a, you use a22 tees fairways fairways and at what rate uh three tenths of a pound yeah third so of it's, a pound. it's as light like it's literally as less of material as little material as you can put out and actually get an even spread yeah which is probably about four pounds per thousand thereabouts okay. like that's yeah that's that's around the third of a pound rate okay so that's what so but you get a nice even spread nice even you don't spread. stripe we don't stripe we, we we put foamers on our tractor smart we wheel to wheel smart um and yeah. we and we do we do get a very good response and it's we, we switched over to the 50 pound 500 pound sacks this yeah, year yeah like that. that's a, a, a game changer uh, it totally is. Yeah. It makes the job easy. A lot easy. A lot yeah. easier. Um, so, so okay. So, what's your schedule on that? So we go third? Labor Day. Okay, Labor Day. Memorial. In or well, Memorial. Oh, sorry, Memorial. Labor. Memorial. Labor, and then Thanksgiving. All right. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I like that the nice simple holiday schedule, and that Thanksgiving application is really what's carrying you through the winter and into the spring. Right. So then you are able to not put your first app of the year down until the end of May yes. because you get that big response yeah. coming out so, of the spring. And we do get the, the recovery from aeration when we go in the spring. So that's love there, the it. plant's ready to go. Yeah, and love it. Because you use, way. on greens, you're using... 545. Five. Yes, yeah. in the same kind of format. Same way, yeah. 545 five, five, and we throw gypsum down with it as well. And yeah, we'll, dude, money. Yeah. Because we now now some challenges here, you know, is is the is all that play. It is. Um, water quality is good. You, yeah, well, water, good, good yeah. water. We, but, it, we have tested. You know, it, it, it's a good. But the play is keeping up with the play is is the challenge. <sighs> yes, it, it's a challenge, but it's it's almost you're used to it, so mm -hmm. you learn how to operate. I mean, mm -hmm. I, look, I don't have the experience working at private places, so this might be what they do anyway. But like, we'll work backwards. Mm -hmm. We're not fertilizing when people are out there. We'll do that prior to people being out. But, you know, we, we do our maintenance practices, you know, routine out there. We'll go out one, 18, three, four, two, and wave the course. Okay. But if there's people out there, we'll go backwards. We'll go 17, 16, 15, 14. So the, the groups only see us once. We're not like, oh. you know, hey, Mr. Johnson again. Hey, Mr. Johnson again. Yes. Hey, Mr. Johnson, you know, so they don't hear the machines humming. So I don't know that that people do that necessarily. Yeah. I think most people kill themselves to be out ahead of play. And you, you're saying I, I, I don't, I don't have that opportunity. No. Like so, I not to complete everything we do. So you know, right. we're, we're cutting the fairways three times a week, blowers behind them. Oh, that was such a nice detail. The roof. Yeah, yeah. I because we saw it this morning. At every single time you mow, you cut grass, rough or fairways or tees, yep. there's a blower there's coming. A blower. We have baskets on tees. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there's a blower always following behind. Yeah, it's there, the so we have best. So four it's to five can be. turbine blowers that are following our fairway units around. Um, your employees must be happy because you don't get this kind of work done if you don't keep like contentment in in your shop. Yeah, it's difficult, right? Um, but yes, we. Yeah, I try real hard to show appreciation to the guys, whether it's driving around and. <laughs> so when I first got here, you had the old guard, right? And uh, it was like a hundred and two out of them. I went and got ice. I, I had the, the ice pops in the freezer and I put them in the front of the golf cart with the ice and I drive yeah. around and I'm out and they're like making fun of me. Like, oh, Mr. Softy, what do you do? You think you're going to get anyone to work for you if you do this? I'm like, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the guys like dying out there. It's hot right. as hell. Like, what, right. what are we doing? Um, yeah, so you, you have to show appreciation for these. So um, one thing 
I, I didn't even tell you this yet. So, um, so we, we we all have pesticide license, fertilizer license, right? Right, right. So, so ask yourself a question: How many guys in your crew that speak English as a second language actually have that fertilizer and pesticide license, and were able to obtain it the same way that I was able to obtain it? Yeah, it, not, none of them because it's yeah you have yeah. it's in English. It's in English. So, um, this back in maybe about a year ago, I'm getting all the paperwork ready for our coming season. I'm getting to make sure everyone's licensing's done. And I get to the spot where it's uh, click here to, to 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 confirm that they read all the manuals and they understand them. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing it again. They didn't read the manuals. And it's, it's not because you didn't anymore. offer it to them in a language that, that they, they read. Understand, right? <laughs> so I said, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to put myself in trouble that I, I've trained them. I know I didn't train them. I love these guys. These guys do a great job. They, they should do it. So I brought it to the director's attention. And I said, look, we have, uh, you know, there's some inequalities going on in at least the state of New Jersey. What do you mean? I told him, I said, look, we've got guys that were just like me. Work 10 years, 12 years on a golf course as a laborer had aspirations, but they weren't able to progress because they couldn't get a license because they, they can't take a test. Yeah, dude. So um, my director county to uh, contact county administrator, Matt Jordan, and uh, he contacted somebody down at the state, somebody at Rutgers, and I did a video call um, towards the end of February last year, of this year. Okay. And uh, we got an email the other day that now at the NJ Green Expo, they're offering New Jersey pet a fertilizer license, manuals in Spanish, test in Spanish. Holy cow, bro. Yeah. Making a difference, man. So now you've got a chance, like, you know, they got a chance to do what I'm doing. Exactly. It, yeah, so yeah. That, that, because you're right, it was it was an unequal opportunity. Yeah, they, you they didn't have the opportunity. They didn't have an opportunity. They had the opportunity to come, they had an opportunity to work, they had an opportunity to learn from people that were willing to give them something, but they couldn't, they couldn't advance. Right. Yo, I love that. Yeah, so now hopefully we'll start seeing some different looking people running some facilities yeah because yeah and 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 kudos to Rutgers and kudos yeah. to the njta yeah. and the green That's expo exactly right. yep. yeah because like they they you know in a relatively short amount of time man, not, nine months they yeah. got it done yeah i was shocked i saw the email i sent it down to daryl i said i i don't know if this had to do with us or not but i don't care it's done <laughs> It's done. Yeah, so. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, awesome. So I mean, we're sending four guys down now. Heck yeah. To go take the test for us. Yeah, and you won't be alone. There's other yeah. people, other guys are going to jump on this. Yeah. That's that's great. You know, tell me that other social, uh, that social effort that you were talking about being that it's October. This is an idea that you had. Uh, uh, so my wife uh, was born in Sicily um, and, you know, always talking Italian politics. So cool. what they're doing over there is, I believe it's statewide countrywide they okay. call it state but countrywide um women could go take their annual exams yeah their mammograms, mammograms because october is breast, breast cancer awareness, awareness yeah. month yeah so okay. if they go during their breast cancer i don't know if it's october there they do it like father's day is different over there than it is so i get no two doubt. father's day no. married to a family, right? <laughs> so uh two mother's day every day is mother's day yeah that's but right. uh so, so what was i saying uh, about the october the, oh, yeah so so the idea is to offer I, I don't know if it's happening, but I brought it to the director's attention. Let, let's let, let the women on our, our park staff go get tested, you know, do their annual exams during the month of October, and, and we'll give them back the day. No yeah, and it'll be a paid day. It'll be a paid day. No, no, and because no this is what they're doing in Italy. Your yeah. wife, your wife brought this so, up, yeah. and, and I was like, "That's a great idea. Like, why not? You know, it, yeah." So and of yeah, it's it's the these are this this all this conversation came up from from the question of your crew happy yes. your crew's content you know like this is the way that we all work together yes. and get things done yes. especially the hard stuff because yes. this isn't it isn't easy to set up golf for eighty thousand rounds no, a year no and you have to show appreciation to, to your to, to the guys that you're working with you know they're not your assistants they're your, they're your support staff and if you don't support them they're not going to support you that's right that's right um i remember and, what it was like yeah okay tell me about your your coming up how did you get going here how did, um so I, w I was blessed to, to run into Gary Arleo, who okay. was a superintendent. He was at North Jersey Country Club, and then he was over at Valley Brook Golf Club. And that's where I started working like as a laborer on the golf course. So where, so how did you run into him? What like? So I, w I was working for Bergen County. I was doing heating and air conditioning uh, for the courthouse, fixing boilers, pipe repair, steam fit air, you know. And uh, Bergen County had bought Valley Brook, 
and I, this is where I, you know, I grew up playing golf. I was playing golf since I could walk. You told me you you were blessed with a passion for golf. Yes, and I didn't know it was a passion until your father was a PGA yeah, professional. Yeah, I, I didn't know you could. I mean, I, I never thought about follow. It sounds silly, right? Like you didn't know about following your passion. Like mm -hmm. you would think, oh, I'm gonna be a cop. I'm gonna be a teacher. It's like, no, man, you love golf. Find something that you love. So I was yes. able, I was able to get, you know, get lined up with that, and so. Uh, the county had purchased Valley Brook. I went into the, the golf director's office. I said, "Hi, I'm Vinny Spano. I, I take care of heating and air conditioning in these buildings. Uh, I'm a golfer. You're going to need someone to take care of that building. Let me be the guy to take care of that building." So he gave me the job. I was cleaning toilets. I was working on your AC. I was Gosh. just getting the building ready. And like I said, Bergen's not very well staffed. And uh, Gary was there at the time, and he's like, "What's this kid doing? Like, why are you? Do you want to come outside? Like, I'll teach you something." <laughs> I'm like, "All right, let's go." And uh, he took a liking to me what year was this 2006 oh. i started over at, 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 at in golf so from three 2003 to 2006 i was working in row department hvac and then i got to golf 2006. i bet you and i are the same age you graduate in 03 oh, one. oh okay you're two years older yeah, than me yeah so i i tried the college thing i went to monmouth i did business classes all and, right you know life got in the way i had to come home to take care of issues um and that's when i ran into you know, ran into Gary, and then he sent me to Rutgers, and that was that was that was that was the biggest change in my life. Be next to getting married, and that actually turning you into an adult, and like, okay, like you know, you have three kids. I have three kids now. Yes. Yeah. So I, I get it. Yeah. But uh, life is full of big changes. There's a lot Hopefully. of Hopefully. Yeah, chapters in your life. Right. You know? That's like, what you want. Yeah. So okay, so you got so Gary pulled you out of the building engineer and got you out on the golf, golf side. Course, yeah, changing clubs, cutting greens, cutting fairways. This is what we're doing, and. It was, it was great. I got to be in a golf cart every day. I got to be on a golf course where I wanted to be every day. I, you know, it, it yes. was it was awesome. And I was learning a trade. You know, yeah. I, I knew heating and air conditioning from doing it, and you know, but it wasn't a passion. You know, I was I was changing pipes, dealing with it, crawling into boilers. It, you know, I'm sure some people love that. It wasn't my thing. Right, right. This is fun. Yeah, I mean, fun. this side's fun. And I love that you call it a trade, dude, because it is. Yeah. Greenkeeping is a trade. It's a trade. And. Um, I, when, I, when I was at St. Andrews, that was my first kind of glimpse into that, right. really, right. because they, they very much, it was on the level with electrician, plumber, like, it's a trade. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, and, and that's, that's what it is. But, like, it being a trade, you got to take care, you got to, like, take care of business. You got to, like, treat it professionally. They got to treat you professionally, you know. And So the best thing, advice I got was from Gary. Mm -hmm. um, he told me growing grass isn't the hard part it's the people yeah dude yeah that's it like everyone's gonna kill grass it happens but like you need the staff to make sure they can replace the turf or, mm -hmm. or the staff that gives it a, a crap enough that when they're out there changing cups in the morning you maybe you didn't see something you've got the guy to change it. hey vinny 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 come over here come over yeah. here they're not going to do that if they don't respect you if they don't respect the property they're working yes yeah, scout so, scouting is you know preventing problems is yeah. the whole is the whole key here you guys are clean as a whistle, like tea to green. This we are doing in pretty well. Really good shape. We're doing pretty well. Um, let's talk about some of the some of like the cool things that you've that you've done to to keep it nice and clean, nice and neat. Uh, you mentioned that a, a major game changer was getting dimension out on tees. Yes. They they weren't doing that before. We weren't we would spray dimension wall to wall. Okay. Minus the greens. Um, and we would skip tee tops and the thought process there was you're seeding into it constantly You're gonna create that barrier seat's not gonna take I'm like look I We're throwing divot seat mm -hmm. down, you know, and it's, it's gonna take it's inside gonna take. the divot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah And you know, I, I don't think it's a complete, you know, 100% of seed fail. So we did it and um, It was great. And then the other part was the Pilex edition yeah that was the other key okay so so you saw a major difference because your existing turf then has a chance to yep. out compete if it's not fighting against rye and goosegrass yep. and you're also not don't have this giant seed bed for the property right. of you know you're keeping it clean everywhere so anyway yeah you got the dimension going here but then you also told me yeah the pilex yeah so we, we go out with the pilex which you probably maybe need to edit this because unfortunately it's not legal oh okay never mind um but like that's messed up because people need to know about that. Like how, so you're going out at a low rate. Right? Yeah. Like the lowest legal rate I think you can go out is like two ounces or something. Okay. It's yeah. Supposed to, but we're going out at a, a tenth. 
Right, right. So, so there you go. So I call BASF or whoever it is. I'm like, hey, how do I report this? Right. They're like, just take the total amount you use and use it in an area. Total, take the total amount right. you use and say in an area. Right. But that's the game changer. I don't know. People, I guess that's like an under the table thing. So I don't even know if you could put that in. I. No problem, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll cut. We'll cut it from there. Put the but pi- Pilex in and. Yeah. Well. Well. Yeah. That, I mean. Pi- the Pilex is a great post emergent yeah. that keeps that keeps that crab but the and The problem is going. you go too high, your grass turns white. So at that tenth of a pound, it doesn't. Yes. Yes. Smart. Um, I don't know that. It's diluted into three hundred gallons of water. You know, it's not. Oh, like dude, it. it's safe as can be. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. as safe as can be. It's not labeled. Well, it, yeah, but but it is labeled to use at a two ounces annually. Yes. Or whatever the max is, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think that I think that is around the. the it. So that was a major game changer yeah. for you. Um, you also took me around to some cool water works that you've done in in your time. So, talking about being, um, you know, supported by the county, we haven't. I talked about Sam. I talked about Chuck. I talked about Doug. We have a, you know, a wood shop department, carpentries. We have a hoarder team. We have equipment excavator team. Uh, we have a lot of resources um so yeah so we were able to build a couple ponds in house okay large boulder rock walls fountain installs mm, the tea we're sitting on we built yeah we built okay honey this, greens in house dude all in house all, in house all with your own labor we haven't had a vendor come in to do anything other than you know large scale drainage or something through the winter but well um, that is the other major benefit of working for the county because like if you you because you guys have the facility you have all the big excavators right. you have the good mechanics right. you have you, right i imagine yeah so i i can't go any further I have to talk about the mechanics oh okay so you got you, dominic's been here for years alex fernandez has been here for years they're totally great but um when jacobson shut down wilford mcdonald right we took their basically top mechanic and their their shop mechanic, John Carr and uh, Ken Bradley. Okay. And now our golf mechanics. Oh my so where gosh. You have, it's, it's So incredible. where was Wilford's shop? Wilford where... was right off Route 80 in like, what was that, Parsippany or something? Okay, so, so essentially right here. Yeah, it was right here. So 10 miles down the yeah, road. So we got you know, world-class mechanics in shop. I've got world-class talent on staff. Talk about a game changer. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's huge. Big time. Okay, so they take care of all the golf course fleet but like you, you throw anything you throw at them, they can do. Yeah, and they're also, uh, and, and this also helps us a lot. So um, today we have a, a, a two course outing going out on both courses. Yeah. Um, 12 o'clock shotgun. We've got guys from the parks department to here to help. So we've got, you know, hey, we need resources. We need six guys, we need 10 guys, you know. So we've, we've got a 60 or so guys that if we need, Right. Hey, we need them here today, and, and they'll give it to us. And maybe that happens for, like, those big water projects that you were talking about? Like... Um, prob- some, sometimes less is more on those okay. products. You know, the projects okay. keep less people around. But, no, it's it's more of, like, hey, we need to get the whole course mulched, you know, oh, by Friday. Let's get everybody it. here. Let's knock it all out. Love it. You know, so do you do a lot of flowers here, too? We started, so we hired uh, Kyle Caps. He's our horticultural um, um, director, staff, you know, okay. department head. And... Uh, He's starting now to uh, create a staff around him, some sports staff for him, specifically for that. Yeah, but no, uh, yeah, Kyle's all around us. I mean, all this was planted by him in there. Yeah. And down there, the, 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 the little pond I showed you before with the bees he did, all the plantings up at a putting green he was responsible for. And then he's also out doing everything around the county too. So, um, Well, tell, tell us about this project that we're standing on right now. This is, a, uh, this is the men's tee on what hole is this? This is 11 West. Oh, um, and this is kind of the corner of the property up by the road. Yeah. Um, you said that that this about it looks like maybe two acres or so was all wooded. All f- completely to forest. Yeah. Okay. Total forest. Total forest. You were out here working. I came out. I was addling an egg, looking for nests. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I turned, and I said, "Oh man, I'd love to hit a." I had to love to hit a drive right here. This looks like a great shot. Because because the other men's tee is about like 40, 50 yards downhill. Downhill. Yeah. And and it makes the makes the, the hole a little bit of like a dog leg right. Yep. This so so anyway, you you see like a whole new look right. from up here. I bring it to my director. Yeah. He goes, I like it. Brought him out here. He goes, I, I can see it. Where do you want to put it? And let's do it here. What do we need to get it done? So we. 
Which is what? What do you need to get it done? Well, we needed to clear a lot of a lot of trees. Okay. But saying that, we also planted a lot of trees. So this entire row down here is all planted. Oh yeah, I can see we, all the new sa so all the new we, trees. We've put in a ton of trees on property, so we've replaced a lot of what we took down. Be but... And it sounds like you do that. You do that on consciously. Consciously. Yeah, yeah, consciously. If you're taking trees out, putting you're putting up. trees in. One hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, that's way cool. Um. um all right, so yeah, you had to you had to make some space for this new tea. You also, it looks like you elevated we the elevated land. We elevated the pad. Yeah. We brought the irrigation down from the ladies' tea, cut car path, ran it up, valve boxes in front of the tea. Um, yeah. And also brought changed the, the way this whole plays. Exactly. You add you had you added a fairway bunker to make it to 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 really force the shots right. to the right, right. into yeah. the fairway. Yeah, that fairway bunker wasn't there. Put that in. Try to keep them away. Did that in house drainage in house and then there's a green side bunker on the left it was huge but we uh we, we made it a little little pot bunker now okay and you also made the whole place safer for the road too yes so uh the old tee i would you know when i would actually get out and play i i'd put the ball out to the road into the guy's you know front lawn because you, you need to play the hook it a right. little yeah. bit yeah, yeah here you just you go for your straight shot the only way you go on the road here is if you're you know you're trying to or you're you know Right, right. Now you're at the road, more or less playing back away from the, uh, playing back away from the road. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, yeah, it makes perfect sense. Um, let's see. So I didn't get to finish the bit about, about all the ponds and everything, because you took me to the one, uh, the, the latest pond that you, that you dug that was solar. That, yes. Solar. And you made it totally off grid. Yes. So like when the sun's not out, the, that, 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 that fountain drops okay yeah yeah so it was kind of like a, a wet area guys would lose balls in there you'd find them out there they'd be walking through it trying to find the balls they'd bring the muck up onto the green oh, so we yeah. have to do something here there's always people it's slowing up play so uh the director was like hey let's 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 pond this out I'm like all right let's pond it out so okay got in permitted cleaned lined um dealt with water levels for losing water where it came in and then uh we brought in in a, the fountain. A solar fountain yeah and, and the public seems to like it and it, it works i mean it works really well so yeah because uh, we walked up to it the water is like crystal clear or and it, it hasn't been treated yet exactly yeah, so just exactly the alone you're aerating it yeah. and um so and and you also said it's a conversation piece because like the golfer notices that when it's cloudy the yeah. fountain's not going you might be putting which okay yeah oh interesting yeah but it also lets everyone know know right, right away like yo this is an off the off the grid project here right. you got the solar panels we're not we didn't have to cut power into anything we didn't have to do any of that right. yeah it's way cool and they they see it then right away they, yeah um that's cool you okay the other bit was you were being a friendly neighbor to the neighbor that's the beekeeper yes yeah, so right behind us the uh... He's got a couple of bee boxes. Yeah. Um, and we had this one area that was kind of a stagnant water, it would dry up. And um, so Kyle, the Hort staff, was right. like, hey, let's get a pond here. Yeah. So we built it up. He put a bunch of uh, native plants in there. The bees have something to pollinate, but they also have water to drink. Yeah, like yeah. there's there's always water access. Yeah. The neighbor has successful boxes. Happy neighbors. Yeah, of course. You need happy way. neighbors. You need that, dude. Yeah. Does he golf? Do you know? He does not golf. But what's funny? So that the house right there with the door open in the back. Okay. So they put that up for sale a year ago, and uh, I'm you know I'm being nosy neighbor. So I'm like, how much are these houses? You know? Right. And I'm like, would you believe it, Daryl? Come here, my director. Come here. Come here. Look at the pictures they have at the house. You know, it's front of a house, living room, bathroom, kitchen, standing on the tee, golf course. <laughs> golf course, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Like, of course. So You're selling houses, bro. I'm selling houses, yeah. So <laughs> uh, the neighborhood has been good. Oh, yeah. Got a couple huge. neighbors that walk all the, all the time every day. They come out here and they walk, so you get to know them um yeah dude that's really nice so you yeah you're you're good neighbors yes. you don't kick the guys off for walking no, on down the no, car no, path no, no, no. like we try to inform them like just be careful pay attention right but no we're, we're we're a public park I, yeah. I can't tell you to leave okay yeah because this is a public a public park so that's one of the weird things so this side of the road we have 10 holes and on the other side it's the rest of the golf courses um but this side is technically a public park they can walk whenever they want so you see oh. somebody out here say hey, good morning you know oh. be careful nice to see you it was like that at St. Andrews um, on Sundays. Okay. In fact, the, the whole you, there's no golf on Sundays, so it, on the whole links wow. and 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 on Sundays 
it is fully public. You could put you could put a, a blanket down in the middle of the fairway really? and have a picnic. Yep. Dogs walking the whole the whole. See, bit. that might be somewhere where we need to go. Not us here, but just in general with American golf. Like, right. Where, what's changing? Well, like we need to we need to look at it as as like the service. Right. It, we're we're service to the community, yeah. and we're also I mean we also need to talk about our service to the environment. Right. Like we're playing a key role yeah. in the environment. All these plants are carbon sequestering, locking locking uh, carbon down in the soil, building humus. Um, all the stuff you do with water and runoff, I mean, it's huge. And a lot of people don't believe that. So right. the more we can educate the public of what we're doing, the more we could have them out here enjoying a facility. Mm -hmm. It's not a parking lot. It's not a high Bingo. rise. Bingo. You know, it's a fresh air, open space. Go for exercise, get some walk. And yeah. if we can get the public out here, because, I mean, there is a use for that. That's that's interesting. I like that. Yeah, yeah. And, and because, like, like, you and I, like, I've played two rounds of golf this year. You said you told me you only play one played round one. of golf this yeah. year, but yet, like you and I have have greatly benefited benefited from being on golf courses. Period. Yes. Without playing golf, no, like yeah. it's just it's just nice to be here. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So if you can, if we can open that up a little bit more, golf's changed my life. There you go, dude. It absolutely changed my life. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I tell people, in reality, every ounce of money I've ever earned has been in the grass business <laughs> probably not too far behind you but yeah you're right yeah like, i was caddying when i was 14 years old i was always had the new sneakers i was such an idiot should have put that money in a bank but you know um, you look fresh though oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh but yeah no golf is golf is a blessing it's a passion it gives us an opportunity and that's the cool thing too you, you get to do something and you actually see it oh like yeah you bingo. see what you did like we're yeah. literally standing on an idea right now that's it this was the, where we are was an idea, was two, an idea. three years ago yeah. you're saying or less and and now the public gets to enjoy it i don't because i don't play but you know also you're also this this hole wasn't wasn't really visible from no. the from the road no you this was all this was all wood. Yeah. So, so the story about you saying the house like could put a picture yeah. in their they listing. Didn't see it before. Yeah, they didn't see it before. Yeah. Oh, that's really yeah. You've increased the value of the homes. Yeah. Wow, dude. Um, now tell me because I'm standing here with the T markers and you pointed these out before. Um, yeah, what what? what would, so you, you made these T markers or you designed them? Uh, yeah, designed them, thought of them. So, uh, this is our logo. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Right, so uh, we had the typical T markers on the course, you know, the wooden ones uh, uh -huh. planted, and it was time we needed new ones. So I went through the standard parade, Matoma catalog. I'm like, oh, you do this, oh, you can do this. I'm like, I saw the Bay Hill, yeah, you know, and you the Coca Cola ones or whatever. Yes. I'm like, ah, those are cool. I, I want something like that. Um, so a little brainstorming, I, I, I contacted a local uh, metal shop in Patterson. Okay, in county. In county. Yeah, love it. Cut some for us. And now, what is this mansion? What is the shape of the? So this is uh, the Day Mansion. Uh, it's basically D A Y D E Y. It's, it's uh, sorry, Die Mansion. Okay, yeah, I don't know yeah, it. So I... it's a Die Mansion. Uh, it's at the front of our property. Uh, it's a museum now. You can come in, you take tours. Uh, but basically, uh, President General Washington retreated to property here with his troops. There was I'm going to butcher it, but there was like five thousand troops in oh. tents on property. Oh my it wasn't a gosh. Course, clearly. Uh, and uh, yeah, he stayed here for three months, planned his retreat before he headed headed south across the Delaware. Oh, wow, dude. So, so, so okay, so he was working his way down. Yeah. And, and, and this is, it's Preakness Valley it's, because we're in this beautiful valley with the streams running yeah. through. This is where you would want to set up camp yeah, if yeah. you're trying to. And he had, you know, the allies were in the area. The Dye family was friends and okay. there was other historical uh, things we take care of. So at Garrett Mountain, you've got the tower, Lambert Castle. They use that to overlook Patterson. They could see people coming in. So it was all interconnected. But uh, from the one tour I took and, um, you know, he had stayed there. And, and, and that's the, basically our, our frontal point. You come to our property, it's the first thing you see. You drive through that to get to the golf course. But, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, so. this, is, this is a very historic property. It is, it is, it is. And anytime we dig, we'll come up, we'll find some stuff. We got to call the historical department in. They'll come oh and look. My gosh. Like they found an old latrine. Um, behind a mansion a couple of years ago, so now they got that framed out. Yes. Uh, so yeah, it's an interesting place to work. And in the old latrines, they often became like dumps too, like like garbage dumps right, rather. Right. So like you someone, find like yeah, a bunch yeah. of like artifacts. Yeah, there was a bunch of random stuff in there, and they had that all on display now at our okay. visitor center. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. 
The um, so so the Passaic River right. is is the river that runs from New York City or from like uh, the the Bayonne, like it, right around there, right? Isn't that where it hits? It comes I mean, out, yeah, okay. yeah, it comes out right there, right, Newark. Right, right. It Newark, yeah, of course, it runs Newark on one side, Hudson Hudson County on the other side, and it runs back to here. Right like to Patterson, to here, all these tributary here's, yeah, yeah, all these tributaries will feed into the Passaic. Oh yeah, the Great Falls in Patterson. Nice spot, not too far from us. Yeah, not far, so, so, but just like uh, strategically, military, back then, this was like very key. Yeah, Yeah. all right, that's cool, dude. I I love that stuff. And the Preakness, not anything to do with, but it's that horse that won the Triple Crown. Right. uh, He was here. So this is where the Preakness name came from. He was down here, wherever. Doug will go into the story. He's, you know, he's awesome with the history. But yeah, it was the Preakness horse was out of here. That's why it's Preakness Valley, Preakness Hills, Preakness Valley, Preakness High School. It's the whole I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So the Preakness, uh, yeah, there you go. This was horse country, too. This was horse country at some point. Yeah, it was all farmland, so, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And 1931, they built both horses or uh, one horse? 1931, it was, it might have been 27 at that time. It was 999. Nine, nine. Okay. Uh, was it always public or was this no, a private? No, I believe it was always public. It was, okay. no, it was 100% it was. It was County Passaic, opened up a park okay. for the public. Um, and then, so now we just, so we, we hosted uh, Publix Amateur this year. Who? You're hitting the microphone, bro. <laughs> My bad. Uh, we hosted the Publix uh, Amateur this year, state qualifier, and okay. now they just awarded us with the 2031 state championship. So we're going to have a 36-hole outing here on our 100th year anniversary. Oh, that's wild. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be great. That's a statewide state event? State Publix, yeah, New Jersey State Golf Association. Oh, that's great, yeah. which which is, uh, they, they, they're over at Galloping Hill. They they, they're, yeah, that's yeah. their headquarters. Yeah, yeah. Another great uh, and, and large talk, facility. Talk about um, relationships and connections. So the guy that's over there, Kevin Purcell, yes. was the guy I walked into his office at High and Vinny Spano. I'd love to take care of your building for you. When you were in Bergen? When I was in Bergen County. Oh my but gosh. He's, I think he's the head or whatever he's over there. Yeah, he yeah. Knows, he's Kevin, so he's over there. Perfect. It's so nice this network that we have, yeah. dude. It's so it's really. A you don't realize thing. it early. Like when I was younger, you didn't realize it, but it's yeah. it's it's super super important. It's a blessing. Yeah. yeah, it's really it's really wonderful. But we're all trying to do the right thing. Like oh, you know, like like you're trying to do, stay out in front, do the right thing, do the right thing for the right people, and, uh, and yeah, for the, and for the plan. I feel like you do the right thing and you believe in what you're doing. Yeah, it comes together. Things work out. Absolutely, man. Well, dude, this was a lot of fun. I mean, any anything else to, to, to chat, discuss? I mean, I you I really appreciate how generous you were uh, sharing all these cool no, stories. Yeah. No, I mean, um, you know, come by if you're in the area. Come Definitely. play us. Come check us out. Uh, and give really and give you a ring. Reach out to Vin. Yeah, reach out. Reach yeah. out to me. I'd love to talk to anybody if you have questions about Earthworks or anything else. Um, oh, cool, man. You know, I, I don't know anything that. more than anyone else, but I'd love to tell you my experience with it. And well, what I love to hear about about what you've done and what you what we see here is is that you took the chance on low use rates. Right. You know, you're like so so in reality, you're using less than a pound of nitrogen right. from Earthworks. A third, a yeah, third, and nine, a third. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And like, yeah. So, so you're like, and you get, you get great color and consistent growth, great recovery, the whole thing. I mean, you guys don't sell, you know, the disease resistance, but I'm telling you, my plant's healthier. Yeah, it's performing better. That's the whole key. It's performing better. That's the whole key. You know, it's not, yeah. as, it's not as, as susceptible. That's right. To, to catching, you know, a bacteria, a virus, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, well. do what do you, when you do see disease here, do you, what do you see? Dollar spot? So it's weird. So we would see some, uh, so yeah, the dollar spot was a thing. Actually, it's not showing itself this fall. Last fall, we, we did get some. Um, but summer patch seems to be our biggest issue on a couple, a couple greens. Um, our fairways, you know, we're cutting it a half inch. It's not that big of a deal. We don't really see much. You, you see keep it some, healthy. Yeah, you, you keep it healthy. You see some patches show up, you know, some fairy ring, but fairy ring's a fun story. I'm not worried about fairy ring. That's uh, right. We, 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 it, it is pretty well. The, the, the biggest problem we had here um, is summer patch on a couple greens. We had Pythium hit us a few years back in a small area, but we, we handled that and, you know, stay on top of it, stay vigilant. Have a good team that's willing to tell you what what's going on out there because you're not going to see everything. That's right. Not o- not over 36 holes. You're not. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. All right. Well, Vinny, thank you so much, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And edit all the bad stuff out. <laughs>